right where we left off guys welcome back to the dev server remember comments below let me know what you guys want to see first for our first dev 1.71 gameplay video all right we finished the uh, americans and the germans now we're on to the russians and the russians haven't been talked a lot other than the t64 but there are some really extremely okay very russian tanks to look at in today's video we're going to start off with the btr 152 which is going to be an spaa we were hoping that we would get the um quad variant that had four of these 14.5 uh, kbvts uh, let's go ahead and see how these things work though if you guys haven't tried to play a match using spaa like you know guarding your teammates from close air support it's very very uh, rewarding Now, the millimeters, the penetration is 31, so we can easily deal with this Panzer II. Now, what is the most penetrating round the 14.5 millimeter has? Because this isn't a cannon. At least, technically, it's not a cannon. I believe at 15 millimeters, it is coined a cannon. Um, 45 millimeters is going to be... Okay, shit. This thing's going to be able to kill things from the side. Not bad. Not bad at all. So that is the BTR-152. Next up, as we scroll down slowly but surely, just so I don't miss anything, things are going to start getting very, very interesting. So, at 6.7, we have the SU-100P. Oh my God, what the fuck is this? This is awesome looking. It's so ugly though, but I don't care. 100 millimeter D50 cannon, 6.7. Let's check the ammunition on. Oh, let, let's do the armor first. This patch, I'm fucking pumped for this patch, boys. We're gonna be streaming every day. Okay, let's, let's. Okay, armor, absolutely nothing. Awesome. I mean, I'm, I I didn't expect that, but it's really nothing. Ammunition <laughs> stored right there. Uh, guys, if you can, and you and you have 50 cows or any, any plane. I mean, it's six millimeters of armor. I think a 7.62 could go through that. Maybe not, but any caliber at 50 cal and above, just shoot right here, man. You, you, you probably will blow them up or you could just strafe it and kill them. So 100 millimeter gun, what kind of rounds we got? Okay, they're all, they're all um, kinetic. APHE 210, 215, and 240. Okay, 6.7. I don't think it's going to be that maneuverable. Now, this isn't upgraded at all, so just keep that in mind. But, uh, very, very Russian. Oh, oh! Oh, Ivan! Ivan's going to get a really big headache here. Ivan, move your head. Oh, it didn't hit it. It's not, it's not close enough. Sorry. Um, I, I probably should be showing off this um, vehicle. It looks like a naval cannon almost. But uh, I thought it would be um, not this fast. This has the ability to get to a decent position in the game. And sit and snipe. Look at that mean muzzle break, too. Okay, pause it. Depression. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay, good. Normal Russian depression. Okay, let's go for the 1,200 meter shot. Yeah, a lot of explosive material in this thing. So that is the SU. I need to learn it. I need to learn it for myself. The SU-100P. Sweet. Okay, scrolling down ever so slowly. Yeah. Hmm. Is this how they sent Sp Sputnik in orbit?
this has to be the longest cannon in game. This is a hundred. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Thank Gajan Snail Pluba that there's no gun collision in the game because this thing would create massive traffic jams. This is the Object 120, and it's definitely compensating for something. Armor values. Oh, dead. Very dead. Very quickly. At battle rating 8.0. Shit, this thing's up there. Top speed. Ah, 64 kilometers an hour. Very fast tank. Depression, negative five. So still negative five is, he's a little depressed. So we'll give him that. Modifications. Holy balls. Whoa. Okay. So we have a heat round. 152 millimeter heat. One of the biggest heats in the game. Fin stabilize. What's this thing? I think, no, I remember reading about this thing. This gun, the M69 cannon, has like 600 more meters a second of speed. Oh, look at that muzzle break. Then the um, Tiger II gun. No, sure, you know, I'm saying the Tiger II gun's very, very uh, fast, high velocity, but this thing, 600 meters a second faster. Test drive. That's probably the most Russian-looking thing I've seen in my life. I know I say that about every, every... Man, what am I using? Oh, this thing is... I thought it'd be like, uh... Maybe I misread, actually. Let's just go ahead and shoot, um... This tiger. Then now we're going to look at it ex externally. 64 kilometers an hour top speed. And we have a log. No book. No bucket. No bucket, unfortunately. Whoa, we're already reloaded. Jeez, that's a fast 152. Hmm. Not the best uh, torque or at least a, just acceleration to deal with um, off-road. Maybe downhill can hit the 64, but it's nothing like the... Uh, the way the MPT-70 works. No stabilizer either. A little overshot. This doesn't even fit into camera. Okay, it just does. Oh, hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this like a special HE shell? No, no, okay. I think it's just a... Um, Dev server buggy. 49 millimeters of penetration with this HE round. But I think... Ah, oh, here's a muzzle velocity. Okay, maybe I miss... Oh, no, there it is! 1,700 meters a second for the APDS FS. For when we fully unlock this. That's fast. That is extremely fast. Uh, FYI, it is hailing outside. But I must do my duty to uh, continue on with the dev server. So if you guys do hear anything... Uh, pounding or banging, that is hail hitting the house. And we we are under tornado watch as well. So bye. Bye, everybody. It was, it was nice playing with you. Okay, but moving on. Um, BMP1, we're going to save that one for last. I think it's the most interesting compared to the T64. Now, the T64 is interesting as heck. This is going to be the, um, those are the heat flaps. You know, heat round. You try to shoot it side, you won't be able to hit it unless you're like this, get it through. But still, very cheap protection with, um, well, very good bang for your buck. Now, we'll go with the armor. Upper plate is, geez, this thing is so armored. X-ray. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna go into my bathroom. I don't fucking trust this shit. Come on, come on, doggies. Glass is definitely broken. So, 
um, shit went down. Shit went down real hard. I got four windows smashed in the house. Hail came through the house. Blinds are destroyed. It looks like someone was shooting a 40 mic mic smoke grenades through them. Car has smashed windows. Um, I don't, it was, it was baseball size hail. Never, ever experienced something like this in my life. Ridiculous. Um, so I'm, I'm, I had to move my whole setup because, um, it smashed through my, um, window in front of my setup. Luckily it didn't hurt my equipment at all. My computer was off to the right and my desk was kind of away from the window a little bit. So the water that was rushing in drained down to the floor. I got insurance. Everything should be fine. So anyways, back to it. T64A. I'm kind of crying inside right now. I'm like, God damn it, dude. <sighs> anyways, let's, let, let's refocus. So we talked about the armor. Upper plate, 80. X-ray for the composite. We have Textolite in the middle, 106 millimeters. And the rear upper plate, I guess we won't call it right here, is 20 millimeters. So the Russians don't use air. They use Textolite. I guess it's just fabric and woven stuff together to um, stop spalling and um, defeat rounds. Nothing on the lower plate for composite. Side, or just a turret in general, has um, 180 millimeters for the first layer. 150 for high hardness rolled armor. 150. And then in the rear right here, we have 40 millimeters. This thing has so... Wait, let, let, let's think about this. Yeah, there it is. 400 millimeters. It can counter. Amazing. 450 with shape charges. 125 millimeter gun. This thing's better has some naughty penetration. 310, 340, 440. And this, this HE round will do some numbers on anti-air vehicles. That's T-64. Now the BM... The BMP-1. Look at this thing. Let's check its armor out. Any composite, negative. Very, very thin. It will be able to counter 50 cals from the front. And that's about it. Turret's armored enough to counter 50 cals. Maybe? If you're at a higher angle, you're going to go right through that if you're close enough. So we have a 73 uh, millimeter gun. That shoots at 7.8 seconds. We also have an ATGM on here, a 9M14 ATGM that has the penetration power of 400 millimeters. And there it is again, the anti-tank grenade. I don't know. It, it, okay. New. We, we, we have a new round on the battlefield. Does the same thing-ish, but still a new round on the battlefield. Now... We're going to buy this just so we can see how the ATGM acts. And by the way, I will be having a vlog on the whole situation that happened today. It just blows my mind. It was perfectly sunny this morning. Okay, but here is the... Whoa, we got two rounds here. HE, I am... What the... Okay. Goes right through the tank. Now, what's this penetration? 300 millimeters? A little too high. Oh, we, 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 we got pretty close. Okay, and then now let's try the ATGM. Ah, it's not mouse control. Good. Beautiful response, though. A little higher for the ammo. Beautiful. Now we're ready to begin. Whoa, we got a nice reload. Let's let us let us look at the whole process. This is going to be a fun tank to use. Slides in. Russian bias occurs. Fins deploy and ready to go again. Let's see if we can hit this moving tank. Very quick responding. Can't even see this guy anymore. Just missed him.
Good hit on him. That guy's going to rip and rep around you. So that should be it with the uh, Russian tanks. I think. Let's just double check over again. Okay, so we got the... This one's going to be so entirely fun to use. SU-100, T-64, BMP. That guy. Okay, now let's go over to planes here. SU-6. New one, 37 millimeter. NS 37s. Now, word on the streets. Ah, the BE6. This one's going to look cool. Customization. Damn, she is sexy. People, think, people say this looks ugly, but I think it looks beautiful. Love the wings on it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous looking from the top. A little dirty on the bottom, but still. Decent bomb load. IL-28 back gun turret with 90 millimeters or 105 millimeters of thickness. Let me just test something real quick. I don't know if it's on the SU-6s or the IL-2. Yeah. Wow. That is pretty darn cool right there. We have uh, back gunners for some planes, which I think needed to be there from the beginning of the game. Let's go over to the British planes. We should have the Hornet over here. There's the Hornet. Good land, that thing's beautiful. 420s, RP3s consisting of eight in total. Big bomb or big loadout. We have uh, four RP3s and two 1,000 pound bombs. Do we have any eight on here? Yep, there. That's what I'm going to use. 37 kilogram mass. Gorgeous looking plane. Look how slender it is. Built for speed and performance. Now that should be it for the planes. No premiums at it. Voila. Okay, now Army. The Daimler AC Mark II. This is pretty cool. It is on the T-17 chassis with a Tetrarch turret, I think. Look how beautiful this thing is. I'll take it, man. And, and this is a low battle, battle rating as well. I think it's going to be a 1.0 or 1.3. We got some thunder building again too. Yeah, 1.3 top speed is going to be uh, 81 kilometers an hour. That's on like perfect conditions and perfect roads. You know, armored cars don't do that well off-road. Okay, no premiums at it. We, whoa, 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 FB-102 striker. Here is a Chieftain Mark 10. I never even heard about this tank before, but oh God, she looks kind of like... <laughs> Built up a little bit. 120 millimeter BL TKL 11 gun armor. Uh, same upper plate. This is kind of getting a little spooky here. I'm assuming there's some composite. No composite armor. But a uh, very strong turret. Let's just dissect this a little bit more. This is 150. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that right there. 150 plus. Trying to get in there a little bit. There has to be some more armor behind this. This is not just 150 right here. No, there's no, 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 no uh, composite armor at all. But as you can see, it does have modifications to it to increase the armor value. Turret 250 is going to be the maximum armor. Yeah, you can see that right. Well, this is 200 millimeters plus this is going to be 350. 75? Is that, is that what I'm looking at correctly? Ton of armor on the turret. Let's check the modifications for its gun. 400. Yeah, tip. Ooh, there we go. APDSFS for the Chieftain Mark 10. The Striker 8.0. This is an ATGM. It's just Bay. Wow. Swing Fire ATGM. No armor. Well, Actually, some armor right there. Aluminum alloy. Side, you're dead. Front, you're... Well, you can withstand 50 cals, apparently. No composite, obviously. Modifications on 500 millimeter rockets or penetration. Let's test drive this bad girl. Fire one. 
smooth. Quick rocket, too. How many? That looks really cool, actually. And then let's just check Japan in case some things were added. Whoa, what the fuck is that? My 6.0, 105 millimeter. Okay, good, good. Everything looks normal here. What is this? No way. Good armor? Yeah, decent armor for 6.0. That's strong right there. Very strong plate. Very, very strong plate. 150 of the turret, 6.0. They'll be able to penetrate you at close. The only question is, is at far range, will they'll be able to? Modifications, APHE shell, 180 millimeters for 105 millimeter gun. Top speed, 40 kilometers an hour. I'm liking this patch. Now, a lot of people don't want more prototypes in the game. But for me, it's a video game, and um, I say all the prototypes possible. More. Pop, pop. It's got a Tiger 105 millimeter sound effect to it. Pretty slow reload for 105. I mean, comparing it to the M50 Antos, 106 millimeter. Let's see how easy this is to aim. Very high velocity, I'll tell you that right now. This is like the uh, Japanese Ferdinand with a uh, lower BR. Okay, and for planes, we have the D4Y3. That could have been even in the last patch, I wouldn't know. Okay, key 67. Yeah, we got this big dog. So this has 15 rounds, 75 millimeter type 88. So if it's maneuverable enough, which it kind of seems like maybe a little less maneuverable than the Grizzly and a whole lot less maneuverable than the Duck, but still more maneuverable than the PBJ, this is going to be very, very useful. And as you can see, it's just below the uh, meeting of the upper and lower portion of the plane. So it shouldn't be too hard to aim with the Duck. The whole gun's down here. So that's much harder to aim once you get closer and closer to your target. But, you know, experienced players will be able to, you know, almost hit at a kilometer out. Oh. God darn it. I was really excited for that. No AP, at least on this dev server. And that's going to conclude it. Uh, conclude this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that thunder right now, but it is still going hard outside. Comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Or at least on from the dev server. Peace out, guys.